We're pleased now to be joined by Charles France, the president-elect of ASPET. Tell me, Charles, how did the EV Volunteer Day get going and, and how did it go this year? Sure. Well, we all know that in 2006, Hurricane Katrina devastated New Orleans. I had lived in New Orleans for 10 years before that. I escaped before the hurricane. So when experimental biology was going back to New Orleans in 2009, I thought it would be a good opportunity to give something back to the city. So we did a solicitation for volunteers, had more than 100 people who showed up, including four current and past presidents of ASPET and we worked with Habitat for Humanity and built homes in the Lower Ninth Ward of New Orleans. So we got a lot of momentum out of that and we have done it every year since. So this is the 11th year that we've had a volunteer event the Friday before Experimental Biology. We've done that in Chicago, Pasadena, Boston, uh, San Diego, and here. Uh, the only year that we had a hiccup in that was the year that there was a, a bombing of the Boston Marathon. That was in 2013, although we had a volunteer event arranged, the volunteers couldn't get to the site so it didn't occur. Um, this year uh, we revisited Habitat for Humanity and the volunteers approached a blank concrete slab yesterday morning about 30 minutes north of here and by the end of the day had constructed several walls, the beginning of a home for a family in need. Experimental biology has been at San Diego every other year since 2014, so 14, 16, 18, they will be back there again next year. So we will for the fourth time go to a facility called Father Joe's Villages, which is incredible facility. It's only a few blocks walk from the very affluent gas lamp district of San Diego and they serve more than a million uh, meals per year, provide housing, counseling, health care, um, and will be there next year the Friday before EB. As a future president of ASPET, what are you most excited about in the coming years for pharmacology? I'm excited about young people coming into the society, about the vitalization of science these days. Uh, ASPET has made tremendous progress in getting young people not only into the society, but to attend meetings like this one in Orlando, from graduate students to postdocs to even undergraduates. So one of my mantras is to carry that forward to keep young people coming into science. It's a tough career, but it's a necessary and exciting career. And I think secondly, as a president, I, I'm obligated to do advocacy for science. These days when science and scientists are sometimes viewed unfairly in the public press, I think people like me have to stand up and talk about the value of science and the dedication of the people who do it and the well-being that we all benefit from given the efforts of scientists. What does the ASPET program have to offer in terms of people that are looking to research pharmacology? Oh, it's, it's tremendously wide and interesting from special receptors in the brain that mediate the effects of uh, drugs to uh, pharmacogenomics to individualized health products. The current president of ASPET, his name is Dr. Eddie Morgan from Emory University, has two outstanding symposia organized on microbiome of the gut. These are the bacteria that live in our bodies that we're very excited about studying these days because they have lots of health implications. Uh, near and dear to my own research interest, there's a symposium on the opiate epidemic and how that's being addressed both in terms of science policy and science itself. There are a tremendous amount of things here for young people, both in terms of research exposure and career development. Today there's an entire day dedicated to young people, career development workshops, networking, luncheons, all sorts of activities. And ASPET sponsors a hugely popular poster competition that will be tomorrow night for graduate students and postdocs uh, where they compete with their posters and network with peers and senior investigators. So lots of interesting science and lots of career development for young people who attend the meeting.